Good evening and thank you for joining us. Right now, people are continuing to make their way out of Honolulu Hale after paying their final respects to former Mayor Frank Fossey. Earlier today, invited guests attended a memorial service for the mayor in the building he commanded for 22 years. Our team coverage begins with KITV4's Daryl Huff, live from Honolulu Hale, with more on the public's outpouring of support. Daryl? Well, as you are probably looking at right now, the Marine Honor Guard, the Marine Paul Bearers, have uh, taken in hand the casket, the flag drake casket of Frank F. Fossey, a Marine Corps captain in World War II, who, and they are now removing that casket from Honolulu Hale very slowly. The family standing by outside here with me, um, a line of police officers, motorcycle police officers, wearing their white neckerchiefs, their white gloves, in honor of the former mayor. This was a quite a long and fun day here, actually, as somber as this moment is, because people were exchanging so many stories about the former mayor. They came to pay their condolences of the family. They came to talk about old times and be a part of history. And they also came to say thanks. They began to gather about seven, hoping to be among the first to honor the man they call Mr. Mayor. Ha'aheo Mansfield brought her memories and a lay from Ka'ava. Oh, so flamboyant, unafraid to speak his mind. And, you know, he was willing to take chances. Other people were very worried about how people would think of them, you know. But Frank was always ready to pay the political price. To Invited inside were VIPs, friends, former city executives, allies, and even political enemies, like former Governor George Ariyoshi, who says Fossey's campaigns for governor struck fear into the democratic power structure, but made it better. When somebody challenges you, when you have a hard time, you can begin to look at, are you doing the right thing, the right kind of way? And I think Frank gave us that kind of perspective. I think he made us better. That Frank would be, would be very amused by the whole thing, especially everybody there uh, uh, smiling about him because so many times people were pounding the desk and wondering how they were going to get around him. Bossy could also be tough on the people who worked for him. I know others who <clears throat> weren't as successful. I know the mayor got on their tails. <laughs> But some of the people who most revere the mayor gathered outside around monitors near the grassy municipal lawn he created. They came to salute with a shaka or a shout. June Uchida's tribute was her two hour trip from Eva on the handy van, another of Fossey's innovations. I would be one of those people that staying at home and doing nothing. Because of him, I was able to go to school and do a lot of things. So he completely changed your life? Right. Mm -hmm. If you had him in front of you, what would you say to him right now? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That was the word of the day today. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Right now, the Marine pallbearers have placed Frank F. Fossey's casket into the hearse bound for Nu'uanu Mortuary. To their left, the police officers in their white neckerchiefs and white gloves. And to the right, the Fossey family standing by in the front row. Joyce Fossey, the wife of 51 years, flanked by her two, two of her sons, her other sons and daughters behind them. As you can see, the casket. is about to be taken away. The family is leaving now. See Joyce Fossey in the front, bearing up very well after a long day of speaking to certainly a thousand people or more. Since Charles and David are helping her into the back of the Limousine, daughter Joya, Frank Jr. And as the family leaves, we are going to say goodbye right now from Honolulu Holly, a very dramatic day.
Reporting live, Daryl Huff, KITV4.